Hi everyone, I hope that y'all are doing well. This is a tutorial for a custom order uh, that was placed a couple of weeks ago and I have been needing to do this for a dear sweet customer and I thought that I would also go ahead and do it so that you would have a video to inspire you. I, I do have some more of these kits available that I will have listed in my website. And the first thing that we'll go ahead and do is take our palette knife and spread on some crackle paste. Now I'm not using a stencil, I'm just kind of freehand doing it um, and I'm just in different places it's a little bit thicker a little bit rough but it's going to look really cool when it dries so I leave this to dry overnight and I am taking one of the journaling cards and um, you know uh, drawing the uh, hoop around it kind of make my circle that's going to fit to glue on the back of the embroidery hoop. We are going to use the brown rust effect paste and I am doing a little bit of an outline on the side of the hoop on the left side and adding a little water to it so that it spreads uh, good and we kind of have you know dark to light and I like the effect that the water has on and I'm doing this on both sides um, kind of all the way around I don't really put it on the very top of the embroidery hoop and then as I get it wet with the water I'm kind of moving it around I want the color to get in the cracks of the crackle paste because as that crackle paste dries it has cracks and it is so cool to have the wet paint to get in those cracks. I just love that effect. So I'm doing that with the brown. And then when I get done with that, then I'm going to take the heat gun to go ahead and dry it before we add our next uh, color.
now we are adding the green paste I'm just doing a little bit around the edge I still want that brown to come out I don't want to cover that up because I really like the contrast of that brown being around the focal point of our layout and then the white background I really like that contrast there but I do want some layers of colors so we're adding a little bit of the green just kind of in certain places around the hoop I'm spritzing it with some water because I like that uh, kind of like watercolor effect and getting in some more places in the cracks of the crackle paste so that is really a fun thing and I don't want my water to drip off of my canvas so I'm taking a paper towel and just you know kind of uh, sopping it up and then also after I heat set it if there's any other little wet parts I'll go ahead and get that up with the napkin as well so now we are using the cream colored paste and I'm going around the outside edges of the brown to just kind of spread out the color where we've got the brown the green the brown and the cream so we're kind of as we're going out we're getting lighter and so that's what I'm doing I'm painting a little bit on with the paintbrush and then spritzing a little bit of water uh, and letting some of the paint drip a little bit to get in more of the cracks kind of fill up our canvas more so we don't have so much empty space <music> So I'm taking one of the journaling cards and it has different pieces to cut out of it and I'm cutting those pieces because I want to add some different layers to our layout and I, I love to just layer paper or whatever I have for my project I just I really like um, you know having the different uh, depths in the layout So some of the pieces of cardstock from the journaling card, I am putting a foam dots or little foam uh, squares underneath it to raise it up. And when I put the foam dots on it, I add a little bit of the wet glue because, you know, these are kind of like stickers and it could lose its stickiness over time. 
but if you use the wet glue that's going to hold over a longer period of time um, you know because this would make a great home decor piece you know sitting up you know hanging on a wall and so I want it to last for a long time
I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. If you would like to purchase this kit, you can do so at danagirlsdesigns.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.